This is Jerry. He is the CEO of Marmed. Howdy, folks. How are you? All right, they make the tourniquets that you know. They make this new thing for the finger that's a uh, little... The Unicot. The Unicot. One size fits all, just like the original, but one size. Doesn't need the tag to be visible. Uh, just slides on. You can see it forces the blood out, cuts off circulation once in place. Handy dandy. Now, why would you use that over the, the tourniquet? Uh, you know, everyone has their preference. The tourniquet's been around for 30 years, and people love it, so I certainly wouldn't discourage them from using it. But this is one size fits all, and uh, doesn't have the tag, so it stays visible with or without the tag, which people like. Also a little bit easier to uh, grasp and, and slide over wounds. But just a preference issue. And then you've got this delightful derma stent yes. loop abscess system, system here. Right. Yeah. Tell me about that thing. So uh, I came up with the derma stent. I was laying in my bed and I was picked, I had gone shopping recently and I saw the, how the price tag on clothing hangs off a little price tag fastener, it's called, it turns out. And I like that idea for an abscess drain because it you know, keeps it open and uh, these bars will retain itself in place. But I wanted it to be more versatile, have more sizes. I talked to some folks and uh, ultimately came up with this ladder type design to uh, increase the versatility, make it so that you can have various sizes, use it in one or two incisions, just made to be much more comfortable in packing as people know, but uh, more versatile and easier to use than the loop drain method. All right, now you've got this nasal foreign body oh, remover yeah. here? Yep. Okay. So uh, a lot of you might be familiar with the market leader. The patent on that product expired, so we just made a generic product for lower cost. We offer ours for about 30% less, but same basic principle that everyone loves. Balloon on a stick, goes up the nose, past the foreign body, inflate, and then remove the foreign body. Kids uh, certainly love it more than the concept of the alligator forceps, which I think is hilarious because it must terrify children when you mention that. 